clocks measure time, fine, and clocks go all together at the same spin, speed, well, that's wrong. Why is wrong? Because it's a fact that um, if, and if I take two good clocks and I move them apart, I move one, or I bring one higher and keep one lower, and I wait a little bit and I move them together, if these are good enough clocks, they will indicate a different time. It's a fact. Okay? It was clearly understood by Einstein 100 years ago, uh, so in a sense we've, we've been knowing this uh, for 100 years, but it's recent uh, that we actually have good clocks, not these, that uh, we can measure this. And today with uh, atomic clocks, so with these clocks you can take two clocks at a um, different of altitude of uh, 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters, and measure that. So the clock up here goes faster than the clock down here. There's more time here. Your, your head is older than your feet. Why is still this hard for us to digest? Because we're used to time being the same for everybody. We're used is two persons have the same age and they separate. One goes to America, the other goes to China, and they come back after a while. They still have the same age. Right? That's our experience. But that's not right, because uh, uh, they have aged differently, depending on how they moved, depending if they have lived up, more up or more down, and, 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 and so on. In our experience, um, these differences are small, and smaller than our perception of time or the, 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 the precision of our watches that we, we carry, so we don't, don't notice that. But if we lived a little bit in, in, in the future when I hope there will be starships going around at fast speed and coming down, we will have to get confront that. So the reason for which we think that time is the same for everybody is because we used it. We got used to it by our approximation. We live in a region in which this difference of time is small, so we're not used to this. So it's not, there isn't a single time in the universe. Already there are many times. Il mondo non è guidato da un, un, un passaggio del tempo tutto insieme, come fosse un, un direttore d'orchestra che, che dà il tempo a, a tutti i suonatori, ma da tanti orologi che si intersecano e le equazioni della fisica non descrivono eh, come evolvono le cose nel tempo, ma come evolvono le cose ciascuna nel proprio tempo e poi come evolvono i tempi gli uni rispetto agli altri.